What's up everybody, it's Olu. Today we're gonna cover three simple drills that you can do to develop your long jump technique as a novice jumper, as someone who's never jumped before, or as a young athlete, like if you're in middle school or in elementary school. In this first drill, we're gonna be working through the phases of the long jump without even having to get into the sand, which is very important as a new jumper because you don't wanna start building bad habits. So we're gonna be mimicking the technique this girl uses in this video that I found from a competition on YouTube. Uh, as a side note, one of the things I really recommend, especially as a young jumper, is getting on YouTube and absorbing and watching as much video as you possibly can because you can learn a whole lot about your events. Watch a few things as she leaves the ground. One, her thigh comes to parallel as she jumps into the air, parallel with the ground that is. Her arms cycle slowly until they both meet in the air, and then her legs extend as she prepares for the landing. Those are the three positions we're gonna be working on in this drill. So to try it for yourself, first balance on your jump leg, bring your feet out of parallel, and reach that opposite arm straight up to the sky. Your positioning should look like you're doing an A-scape with your knees up and your toes up. And then cycle your arms slowly until they both come together in the air, and then swing them both downward as you extend that one leg. This is what it looks like at full speed. Now, if you're actually doing this in the air, both legs will be flying through the air, but for practicing each position, you wanna do it while you're standing on the ground. Drill number two is really simple also, but also very, very effective. It's something you're gonna to wanna to do almost every single day, even as part of your long jump warm up. It's just a power skip. It's a continuous power skip. Every time you skip off the ground, make sure it looks like a nice proper A skip. Drive those feet through the ground, lift your knees and thighs into parallel, keep those toes up as well, and then continuously skip as you, until you reach the pit. As you skip into the pit, make it a last big jump and try to flow through the air, land on both feet, rinse and repeat. The final drill we'll go over is the standing long jump and it's one of my favorites. It's not too complicated. All you want to do is have a little bit of fun with it. Try to jump out as far as you can into the pit. Even though this is a very simple drill, it's a really good opportunity to start working on your landing as a jumper. So notice how my feet come together. Both of my feet are together as I come into landing. Then once my feet hit the sand, I bend my knees so that my butt lands further beyond where my feet landed and I swing my arms through so that I can keep everything moving forward. This is how I don't lose any distance off of my jump. As you practice this, focus on keeping your feet and your butt and everything going forward. Don't let anything land further behind you. You'll lose distance on your jump. That covers the three drills we're going over. You can put these drills together in any type of workout when you do your warm up, whether you're doing sprinting or jumping. They're not very impactful and they were very good to help build the technique over time. So do this a couple times a week, maybe two, three times a week. And other than that, have fun with it. Always make sure you're having fun with it. All right, until next time, peace.